searching for answers. Three women tied by the bonds of love and family to three fishermen who vanished off the coast of Conwy. Ross Ballantyne, Carl McGrath and Alan Minard set out on their fishing boat one morning in January but never returned. After two days a major search was called off and since then no clues have been found, no wreckage washed up. But so determined are the families to establish what went so terribly wrong, they're now seeking the help of an underwater search expert and are appealing to the public to help them raise money to make that happen. We need answers more than anything. We need to know what happened to the boys. We need the boys back for closure, for all of us sakes, for the community as well. We've obviously we've had that much support that everybody is asking us questions. We don't know what to answer with and we need to find something. At the minute, we've all got so many questions that can't be answered. Um, we've not found anything. It's not, it's not usual to not find anything at this point. What would you do? What are we supposed to do? Leave them out there um, with no questions, no answers. So this next step is so important. Just we need to find something. We need closure. The man helping them is David Mearns the underwater search expert who found the wreckage of the plane carrying footballer Emiliano Sala in the English Channel. Everything that I know of that I've heard about this loss tells me that this boat can be found. It's not going to be a million miles away from the normal route they take to go home to port. Um, they were in communication with people at certain periods of time. They had an ETA at port and so that allows you to define a fairly uh, limited area where the boat may have sank. What the family simply don't understand is just how completely the men have disappeared. The frustrating thing is the boat was lost in sight, within sight of land. There were never any more than four miles out to sea. We're not talking deep waters here, we're talking within sight of land and it's just so inexplicable that nothing's washed up so far and we just haven't found any sort of clues about where the boat might have been. A GoFundMe page has already raised more than £15,000 and the families are hopeful the public will continue to help in their search for answers. Ian Lang, ITV News, Conway.